All right, so welcome back. So in this session, I'm trying to see how to add a CI CD pipeline with a build to our Flutter app, right? So first of all, you have to go to the root of your folder, right, where you have your pub spec. Then inside this slim location, you're going to create your GitHub workflow structure. So a directory called .github and another one called workflows. That should be the name. Then inside, you just create a YAML file. Then inside my YAML file, I have this, I have this um, configurations, right? So this is going to be our trigger. So on pull request, on push, on a new branch. So later on, maybe I'll change it. I give it the name of my workflow. Then I specify the job. So we have a build job, and then I'm building it on Ubuntu latest, right? So it can be Mac OS or any of them. Then I specify the different steps. So I'm going to check out my code and set up Java because we use we need this specific Java to build our APK. Then I'm going to use my Flutter action and I'll specify the Flutter version here, which is similar to let me come back here. Flutter version, right? So this is our Flutter version I use it. You can just use a different, but I'm using it to specify the version I use for this app. Then I'm going to get all the package, pack, packages that were found inside my pop spec here. All the required packages and everything. And then finally, I will check the version. So inside this place, you can just run the Flutter test, right? here in case you have the test there. But I will show you another way in which we write the test and we run it. Then I'll use this command. So this is the same command I used to run locally. In case I want to build the app, I'll just go back to my terminal to show you one of the my boats. Go to new terminal. Then if I come back here, you can see that I use the same command to build it, right? So this command, flutter build apk split per api is going to build our apk for us, right? And I'm going to put it inside this location and this location is found here. If you go to my builds, then my app output flutter apk, and you're going to see it here, right? So this is the one this v7a that's the one that works right you can try the rest but most of the time this is what works for me perfect so that command is what's going to be placed here and then we also need to have a way of downloading it so we will use we will push it to release and then we will create an artifact so that you can download it and i'm going to specify a tag this is very important and then this is going to use the github run number right and you are specifying that okay this is version this can be v1 but let's make it v0 anyhow it will be and later on we'll change it later and then this is going to be my my token right so this token we have to go to your github here then to your settings you go to there's a uh, key secret. Then inside the secret actions, you have to create or add a, either a variable or a secret. I already have my secret key and I call it as token. Hence the name for this one is token, right? Perfect. So let's save it. And then I'll go back. You can make it one in case you want. You can make it like one, V1, but V0 will also work, right? And then I'll just come down here and let's commit it, right? So git status, perfect to so git add dot, then git commit dash M. Then I can now go with core or CI, chore, then add APK uh, CI and then tag release. So git push. Now it's going to push this code and once it's pushing it if everything works here if i come down here you see that there's going to be my bar so that means that it's running so if i click on either this one here or click on here you see that i previously built once and some of them failed and this is going to 
build it right then it's going to start building so it will check it out set up our workspace pick up all of these things and then configure our app for us hopefully everything works so this will take some time so let's keep it like four minutes so whilst it's doing so i'll come down and then let's see our app so this is the app that we built so far and then we follow this work workflow so we had this search feature here which is now this <laughs> right we had the search feature so if i go to the search we have the search right so the search in which you can search for stuff if i click on it you can see the term here and then we had the tabs so if i go here so there's a tab for home there's one for tree one for russian and one for french and then german so as we specified here then you also had this type of search in which you can search in the table which is this one here right so you have this search in which you can search the table right, so i can search for a term so if i search for a term like let's say hmm, play i see that now it's giving me all the words that has play within them right play right so yeah to play igrat right pakazivat 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 display <laughs> funny if i go with display this play we are going to have a yeah, pakaz pakazat right i think i have to work on the length so our application work and then we also had another feature for this term meaning and language which we have not added yet so if i go out of here to my home page we have the add term there's going to be this one which we'll do later on in which if i click on this we can have an option to add this this i'll do later then i also add another one for the conjugation in which i can see a french conjugation how to terms so this i'll fill it with little little one i can switch to this one so, so you can just see how it is conjugated like that then i'll come down here to the teams i can also change the team if i come back here i can change the team from the settings here or i can change the team from in case i'm searching i can switch in the team here so light team i'm thinking of adding zooming in but i don't think it's important for this so let's see if our pipeline is finished so it's still running and it's taking time here yeah. so it's it passed and it's building our apk with android boot tools so once it's finished you see it there so maybe later on i'll sign it up and i'll push it for everybody to see and everybody to use right if you like it <laughs> yeah i'm building i'm trying to build most of our applications again in flutter just to learn it okay let's see where it is i hope it's able to build and give us our release version If it finishes it will supposed to show within our version like where it is right it's supposed to have my tags there so if it finishes this is i actually built it physically and i also store it here but once it's finished if i come back to my application to the releases here we should be able to see it there right we should be able to see our release up there once it finishes man it takes time it's taking wow perfect yeah see sometimes when you are developing green is always important for you <laughs> wow that was nice pre corner right so we have it here we are able to get it and then now we have our clean build if i go back here 
and then let's refresh yes we have gotten our first release right and now we have our apk here very very cool very nice too i mean they we, i think we have to i don't know why it's too big <laughs> yeah very nice right perfect so thank you jesus so thank you for watching see you another time stay blessed bye